Thank you so much for staying with us, everyone. Let's flip the page now to the second segment of the program. The PDP is definitely in crisis, leadership crisis. Senator Alimodou Sharif says he is the authentic leader of the party, the national chairman of the party. Senator Ahmed Makarafi will not agree to that as he heads the Kiataka Committee. Where is the hope of the party that root Nigeria for about 16 years and the party who says that it will bounce back in 2019. Just last week, a new chairman of the PDP Governors Forum emerged. Some people will say, he's a controversial human being. Some people will say, he says it the way it is. But well, that's uh, depending on where you stand on this side. Well, joining me to discuss the PDP crisis, opposition role, and what is next for Nigeria is the governor of Ikiti State, Mr. Yodili Fawashi. Many thanks for coming on the program. Thank you very much, Hill. I must congratulate you for emerging as um, the chairman of the People's Democratic Party. But it's interesting that some of your friends and some members of your party are not happy. For example, Senator Buji Kashamu has come out to say it's unfortunate that you have emerged as the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum. Well, um, let me appreciate Nigerians again, and let me Thank you for inviting me over. So, talking about who is um, aggrieved or who is not happy about um, my becoming the chairman of this forum, I didn't lobby for it. I didn't beg for it. In fact, I believe it's a burden that I have to carry for others. Again, I will not want to join issues with Senator Muruji Kashamu. He remains my friend. I, I, I don't bring such issues to the TV. But let me say very expressly, Senator Buruji Kashamu is a senator. When he, when he climbs up to become a governor, he will talk as a governor. When governors are in a meeting, senators will have to wait. It is a decision of governors, not a decision by senators or any other arm of a party structure. So a decision of the governors remains a decision of the governors. Who leads the Senate is not the business of governors. So I, I, I will continue to, to do everything possible to, to carry everybody along, to work with everybody. And uh, as a party man, as a party leader, in this new position, you must look for how to hold the party together rather than, rather than fight anybody. So if it were yesterday or day before yesterday, I might have a better answer than this a deeper answer than this, but all I want is that Senator Buruji Kashamu, everybody on the other side should please come on board and let us move this party forward. And uh, let me put this to you. I don't need a party, a platform to express my views. I don't need this platform. I've always, I've always had my voice. I've always abhor wickedness, oppression, suppression. I've taking time to speak to Nigerians in clear terms without fear or favor. You don't, so you don't need the governor's forum mm. platform? No, 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 no. This is just an additional to help the party. How about the things in your party mm. becoming the governor's forum? But because I remember Governor uh, Udwagan sat right there and he, uh, and he talked about what went wrong in 2015. Some people have said, for example, that the governors are the problem of the PDP. Well, I, everybody's entitled to their views. It's entitled to their view, uh, opinion. The former governor of uh, Delta is entitled to his view. What, I, uh, what concerns me is to do my own part, be remembered by Nigerians, be, be remembered by people, men of conscience, that Ayofayoshi stands for the truth. Like I always say to you, I am not afraid of anything, not incarceration of that. At some point, Death in life is inevitable. Those of them under the mattress. I listened to you when you were asking the, the former uh, speaker. I listened to you when you were asking him about incarceration, harassment of the press. I came to this table, this, this program, and I said to you, a dictator starts from somewhere. Starts with politicians. After conquering politicians, it goes next to the... To, to the lawyers, straight to the judiciary. Now I'm glad the the spokesperson of government. No, no, no. The
journalists are saying they're expressing fears. Time will tell. You understand? When you see tomorrow, people will say you talk too much. You are not friendly. You are attacking people. Everything that I said about President Mohamed Buhari has come to pass. Except for the economy. But what has happened about the economy? You I said in your prediction in 2016 that economy we go for the worst, that in fact beyond that, so what has changed? Nigeria, uh, but the Nigerian economy as predicted by economists is going to rebound. Let's, in it's going, your, your language is going to. Let's wait. You understand? It is said that Nigeria will get out of recession in 2017. I, I don't want to. I don't, when, we, when we said this in 2015, I, I made these predictions. The first one in, on the 23rd was published 23rd of December 2015 for 2016. When I said it, there were people shouting, how can you say that? 85 to 90 percent of that prediction came to pass. Watch out for what I said. Some, some will say it's political. Bukola Saraki's case was not political at the time. It was not part of issues on the table. I went to him when I got this, and I told him, this is coming your way. Again, when I told you that the electricity will drop, the tariff will go up, I told you the dollar will go. At the time I was telling you the dollar will go, will, will have a free fall. The dollar was still in the neighborhood of about 225, 220, that it will get to 300, that about dollar today is 505. Or 503. I told you, I said so many things that an attempt to forcefully take the states of the South-South South states, that there will be many killings. All that happened today, we are part of it. We, we hear them. So let me tell you, let's leave predictions. Let's talk about issues. IMF and, and uh, MMF, whatever name they call it, December is not far from now. A, lot of, a number of things I say. I have come out to say publicly, we come to pass. Watch it very well. Mm -hmm. Some of those things you said in 2015 uh, didn't actually come to in 2016. Like, can, can you please, can you read just like a, five a, of them? A few things that you said. A, a, well, I'm not saying in 100%. In, in, in 2015, did not come. You can, said power generation would we'll drop. We to its No, no, power, power, power did not, power, power, did, power has it, gone it, up. It, 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 but power, in fact, as of today, as of today, we have lost close to about 2,000 megawatts. You said Chibo gas will not return. No, that but the, may I say to you, the, the story of Chibo gas is there's a rules. I've been saying the this. Rules? Yes, complete rules. Those girls were trained to act for Nigeria. And I'm telling you, this story will come back one day. I don't have to say this, though. I said it before. Let me tell you this one was thing. The, this was a story of family people, May I mothers say and fathers that who, is the, that is the whose children, children went to school and never had not returned, and you're mm. saying that those are just I stand here to say, are lives of I, I, over I, sta people. I stand here again to say clearly, the, the, the Chibok girls was orchestrated to take President Jonathan out of office. Really? Listen, have you seen where you say over 200 girls are missing, they are physics students, in a kitty, fountain of knowledge, one school will have 200 physics students in one school, and they will be girls. They are going for physics exams. When they were found, they can't speak English. They cannot speak correct English. Even does if that take away the fact second. that does that have to take away the fact that these are lives of people? And for example, a lot of people will be concerned because this was an issue that took you know, you know, I don't follow world. I don't follow multitude to lie. I don't I don't create lies. I'm a very blunt person. You might not like me. You can live with it. I'm telling you again, if they are telling all these cheaper girls were found, what are they still doing in the custody of federal government? If, I, if my son was taken away for over two years, the joy of my son coming home alone is enough. And these people that are in the hands can, of can, savages, can, can I, can I say in the hands of savages, they need to be rehabilitated. Well, 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 let me say this to you. You might believe what you choose to believe. I said expressly. One day this story will be told. We later heard what happened in MK Abiola many, many years after. This story, there was one written recently by one of the girls who said where they were camped. But you see, we can defend lies with government. It's easy because we're in government. But let me say to you, you can react a parent to act and even cry. It's all theater. Have you not seen people doing theater? Don't you see people, yeah, you see a minute ago crying. 
This is another theater. Do you recall when the Chibog organization wanted to, wanted to take the president on? And it became an issue two, three weeks after Chibog girls were found. It's absolutely unbelievable. That uh, is a very clear position. That is my clear what, what, position. What, what do you make of the, uh, the successes uh, of the present government in the, the Northeast region? What do I make of? Of the successes of the government in, uh, in the insurgency fight in the Northeast. You see, let us get this right. Let me start by the last incident. And I want to tell um, journalists to remember that Nigerians depend on them to get true and accurate results, I mean, accurate information. The Nigerian army and the Nigerian government created the IDP camp. And they were created, located, well located, for you to tell me that where you kept me, you came back to bomb me there. Almost 200 and something people claim to have died. It is questionable. That was said to be an accident. Yes, sir. That, to you, it's an accident. And they said it will not happen again. It will not happen again. We'll bring back those people. Let me again say to you that it was quite hasty for the president to say it was a mistake. Inquiry into such matters that claim such number of lives becomes inevitable, very important, before you make statements. Let me equally say this to help you. When you say you are winning a battle, the next minute you announce to us that you are winning a battle, there's another bombing. Let me veer to the visit of the vice president to the south-south. Immediately the vice president left the south-south, there was bombing of the pipelines again. The problem this country is having is the body language of the leadership of our country. Number one, a good leader will operate with carrot and stick. The way you make the best of your government is entirely your business. The situation, let, let, let's quickly look at, because I want to come back to Northeast issues. The situation where the president will go out of the country and say my people are chiefs. Let me go further. The policies that say, that say to Nigerians, we have stopped the missionary account, we have brought back the missionary account, a lot of people now went to the banks. Immediately they saw that opening, they took all the money out of Nigeria. That was how we found ourselves in this situation. This government does not have economic plans that can stand the test of time. You are you overseeing a, a population of 160 million Nigerians, able bodies, who are well read, international scholars, from Nigeria, running an economy of other nations. We cannot find men like 50 to assist us. The moment these things are being done the way, you see the, the thing is deteriorating every day. Every day, every day, because there's nothing sustaining the economy. But there's a hope that the recession uh, will go uh, in uh, You see, I am not here to come and be massaging egos. I'm not here to come and be telling Nigerians, you see a blind man says, when you want to promise me, when you promise me food, Put it in my mouth. When it's in my mouth, I will know that you are saying the truth. I'm a blind man. I cannot see what you are saying. Give me, let us see. If any government cannot make an impression in two years, when would they make it? We have, gone to, we have set out to borrow $30 billion. Our foreign reserve is about 20, 24, million, $24 billion. So where, 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 where will we pay back? The consequential effect of all these things is for years to come. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fauci, uh, we'll, we'll take a moment now, but when we return, more issues on the Nigerian economy and the state of the nation from the governor of Ekiti State and the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum. That's next. When we return. Thank you so much for staying with us, everyone. Uh, Governor Ayodele Fayoshe of Ekiti State has been talking to us on the program. Let's continue with the conversation now. Uh, we, we're talking about the state of the Nigerian economy. Uh, states in 2016, some states were even declared insolvent. Um, IGR in some states uh, nose diving. Uh, in 2017, if you talk about your state, for example, uh, are there still salaries being owed right now? That's very correct. Salaries have been owed. I'm owing now four months, without doubt. But I want to see when you take the, the main average. In the southwest i'm still about the second online despite the lean resources of my state 
there is no doubt that what we are earning today from the Federation account, when you look at it, except for the exchange rate, the valuation of the Naira, the states will probably be getting under $1 billion, well, $1 billion Naira. Last, this month, I got 1.4 or 1.450. So what I'm trying to tell you is that when the head is sick, the whole body will be sick. Let me tell you very clearly, the, the exchange rate at the time, at 2015, was 2198 to the dollar. The exchange rate today is about 303. That is why you are getting the difference. And as a result, the inflation out there renders what an average worker is getting to nothing. When you're, when you're getting, if you're getting 100,000 in 2015, now you're getting probably 40,000 naira. So the situation in the country calls for total reflection, total over oiling of the system. Like I always say to you, go beyond politics to solve the What system. are you doing in your state to change things uh, by not relying on the center? for the federal allocation? Realistically, I want to tell you that we have improved slightly on our IGR. Secondly, I, in my budget this What's year... What's the difference now in the last... Well, I don't, I don't have a figure here. But on, on, on agriculture, I am doing land clearing worth about 500 million naira this year in every local government. Because the problem of agriculture for an average man, average young man, average farmer is land clear, clearing. So I'm taking that long and I'm working with people who wants to do cuckoo planting and rice amongst others. But we're doing a lot and with time you will call it the difference. So let me, because, because of time, I don't want to forget a few things I want to talk about because you really mentioned something about not east and I want to remind you that they should look inward. That some Who are you the, talking about now? The federal government and the military should look inward so that some of their members are not loyal to Boko Haram themselves. Because killing those people there looks to me very deliberate, beyond accident. Maybe we should wait for the report of the military on well, that. Well, we've always had reports. Look at the case of Mago. The report, the, the, the report from an institution like SSS that was used to sack judges, to ask them to step aside. The same SSS said Mago brought a damning report on Mago which stopped the Senate from clearing him. So how do we reconcile that? If this laws, if this report apply for some, it could take out judges from their jobs. It does not take people in government out of their job because there are people favored by government. There was a protest against you yeah. that was taken to the EFCC, and uh, you, some women were there. Let me quickly uh, show you what those women said about you and the allegations of fraud against you. Mm. Well. Well, well, moment, I, I would like to show you that sound bite of mm. what those women said about you. Well, why are you showing it? It's because of it states his hand also have been, he, he too have been in that, uh, a, a kind of, his hand is in this arm deal. So for that, and he is there enjoying his governance. We are here to tell the EFCC, if nothing happened, others we still hide under the disguise in the name of their own government and they are untouchable. Right. Let That's me, a protest there. That is not a protest. And people will wonder. You that, talk that about... Is, that, is not, that is a political protest. Really? Yes, yeah, that's a political people protest. People asking uh, that may you I should say, be properly you, investigated. If you, if you get to Kubuadea, they give them 500 naira and the contractor, this woman is a contractor. So I've gone beyond that level. You see, these are political uh, activists. Look at the woman, look at the grammar the woman is speaking. I look, look, at, look at this kind of character. When they had overnight, I became chairman of Nigerian Gov uh, People's um, PDP Governors Forum. That was acted overnight. These are miscreants. Let me say to you, there are laws of the land. They're very express. Not made by me. I'm a sitting governor. If you have anything against me, keep it. Keep your gunpowder dry. Unfortunately, it was EFCC. EFCC of Magu. That is, that is issuing a statement. Not to those people. That is very petty. Yeah. I have gone beyond that level. All right. Mr. Adele Governor of the Kitty State and Chairman, Governor's Forum of the People's Democratic Party. Many thanks for coming on the program. Thank you, Shay. When you bring us here, let us find time to talk well. Thank and you. tell Nigerians that this hunger, tell the president and leadership of our country, hunger is ravaging the land. People are suffering. Thank you so much for talking to us. That's our program tonight. Many thanks for being part of it. And that's what we see. We'll see you Bye for now.